Welcome to Friendly Math 101. Today our lesson is on multiplying rational expressions. Let's take a look at our first example. The first step to multiplying rational expressions is to factor each expression if possible. In our first numerator we could factor out 9 and we're left with r plus 4. We can't factor the denominator so we'll leave that as r plus 4. Over here we cannot factor 9r, but in the denominator we could factor out 9 and we're left with r minus 5. So anything divided by itself will 1 out, so r plus 4 over r plus 4, we could go ahead and cross those out because it just equals 1. 9 divided by 9 equals 1, so we could cross those out as well. And then when we multiply, it's just like a fraction, we multiply straight across. So 9 times r is 9r and then we're left with r minus 5 in the denominator. And that is our simplified expression. Let's take a look at another example. Again, our first step is to factor as much as we can. Here we cannot factor the numerator, but we can factor 7 out of the denominator. So that'll be 7 times x plus 5. And then in the numerator here with the trinomial, we could factor this as x minus 8 and x plus 5. In the denominator, we'll leave this as x minus 8. So anything divided by itself will equal 1, so we could 1 it out. We'll 1 out the x minus 8. We'll also 1 out the x plus 5. And then all we're left with is x plus 7 over 7. A common misconception is that people will want to one out the sevens, but we can't do that because x plus 7 is a quantity together. The 7 is not separate from that. So that is our simplified expression. Let's take a look at one more example. Here when we factor the numerator of our first expression, we'll get at, or I'm sorry, p plus 6 times p minus 4. And then we have p minus 2 in the denominator. We can't factor out anything over on this side, so we'll just one out whatever we can. We could one out the p minus 4 over p minus 4, and then when we multiply straight across, p plus 6 times 1 is just p plus 6, and then p minus 2 is in the denominator. Again, we can't cancel out or one out the p's because these are quantities together. p plus 6 is together and p minus 2 is together. So this is our simplified expression. That concludes our lesson on multiplying rational expressions. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave your questions in the comment section below. And for more math tutorials, subscribe to our channel, Friendly Math 101.